Hello, and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. Today, we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Paulette, which is formed in the Atlantic. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now, Tropical Storm Paulette currently has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 1,005 millibars, and is moving west-northwest at 3 miles an hour. So, let's move on here to our warnings slash cone. And you can see that this storm is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It is expected to stay a tropical storm for the next five days at least. And we'll see, it could become a hurricane. We'll talk about that more when we get to tropical tidbits. But right now, it's expected to become a tropical, it's already a tropical storm. It's expected to stay a tropical storm, but we will keep you updated. I will keep you updated on that. So, 5 day wind speed probabilities with the earliest reasonable arrival time of winds. You can see the largest chances are right now, and those chances actually go down over the next 5 days. So let's move on to the satellite imagery for this storm. You can see this storm definitely has good thunderstorm action, and it kind of has this long outer band over here as well. So, you also have some, I think there might be a little bit of shear here, um, looks like everything's kind of getting pushed off, but I'm not sure about that. So, let's move on, we're going to go to current storm information, so global and hurricane models, keeping this mostly on this track here, but a few of them having it pulling off that track early and going straight north. GFS kind of has it going that loop, that same route that the NWS has, and then it kind of does this little hook here. But of course there are some other models that do not show that. Then the GEFS showing that same kind of thing as the GFS ensemble. So let's look at intensity guidance. Only one spaghetti model showing anything over a tropical storm, category one up to a category three. I think that category one would be possible. That's about five days out. So, uh, about six, seven, seven days out. So seven days could see this in gain intensity category one possible there. As you can see the trend, most of these models showing an increase in wind speeds, then a decrease at about the two and a half day marker. And then an increase again after that would be the four and a half day marker. So that is the general trend with this storm. Let's move on here to the GFS model in the Atlantic. We see here's Paulette. You can see that it's taking that westward route, then it kind of comes to the north. There it's gaining intensity. That definitely looks like a hurricane to me. And then it starts to move to the east. And generally on the GFS model, you can see a lot of storms here. You have Paulette, current tropical depression 18, which would most likely become Renee later on, that stays in the Atlantic. Then you would have Sally there, and Teddy there, and then maybe even Vicky. So we're in the peak of hurricane season, the actual day is on September 10th, which is... Wednesday, oh, Thursday, Thursday, it is on Thursday, it is the peak of hurricane season, definitely have to look out for that, where we're going to be seeing a lot of tropical videos in the next week or two, but it's an exciting time, we could get into the Greek alphabet by the end of this peak, so that is very, very strange for a hurricane season. Paulette, the earliest name, 16th storm, and Renee likely to be forming later on today. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.